Good evening, everybody, and welcome to another fantastic webinar tonight with Martha Cannon. Uh, we are very proud to bring this uh, webinar to you by the sponsorship of Breathe Easy. So a huge big thank you to Breathe Easy for their sponsorship of the webinar tonight. Um, just a little bit of housekeeping for those that haven't been on with us before. If you have got a question for Martha, just move your mouse over your screen and uh, the, the little control bar will pop up. There's a Q&A box. Click on that, type your questions in there. They will come through to me and I will hold them over to the end. And then if we've got enough time, we will go through them. If we run out of time, don't worry. We will download those questions and uh, we will get those answers to you. So we're all in for a treat. I feel like a bit of a fraud introducing her because we all already know her. But Martha Cannon is a specialist in feline medicine and the co-director of the Oxford Cat Clinic, a first opinion and referral cat-only veterinary clinic in Oxford. Martha combines her active involvement in feline referral medicine with a commitment to providing feline-focused continuing education for veterinary surgeons and veterinary nurses. Her lectures focus on providing an up-to-date information set and practical approaches to diseases that are commonly encountered in day-to-day -day veterinary practice. She is also proud to be involved in the developing and promoting of the ISFM Cat Friendly Clinic Program, which provides constructive advice on how to reduce the stress cats suffer when visiting veterinary practices, making veterinary visits easier for the cats, the owners, as well as the veterinary staff who work on them. Martha, a warm welcome back to the webinar vet and it's over to you. Thank you very much indeed and welcome everybody to this, um, this presentation, which again, as, uh, as Bruce has mentioned, is kindly sponsored by Breathe Easy. So we're going to look at the whole subject of uh, feline asthma, as it's often called. Um, I must admit, I tend to refer to it more as chronic bronchial disease, CBD, chronic bronchial disease. We'll come on to the difference and what the different terminologies mean. But what I want to focus on is the, um, the approach to how we recognize this condition, um, some of the complications that can arise from it um, to, to highlight really the importance of, of appropriate um, long-term therapy for this common condition. And then of course, we'll look at practical ways to achieve that. Um, the picture on this front slide illustrates um, the, the AeroCat um, inhaler and, and uh, face mask and spacer bar, which of course is a, a breathe easy product. We will talk about the uses, the advantages, the disadvantages um, and the, you know, the, the, the limitations and so on of that treatment therapy. Um, and, um, and then as, uh, as Bruce outlined, as there's time where I'm certainly very happy to take any, any questions. But let's look at a, a typical case um, that might present to you. You will all, I'm sure, have seen many cats like Alfie here, who is a 10-year-old female neutered domestic short hair with really quite a long history of bouts of coughing. So when she does have a cough, she has quite a little um, episode of coughing. Um, it was relatively uh, an infrequent occurrence, but in recent years it's happening much more often until or unless she gets treated and her referring vets have been treating her with intermittent injections of depamedrone which they found resolved the cough very effectively. So this is um, this is Alfie in her home environment. Um, you'll have to listen quite carefully because the sound is quite faint um, but if I start the video I hope you'll be able to hear. <laughs> So this is a very typical appearance of a cat coughing and as I pause it there you can see that um, straightened out, flattened profile, neck extended, head down, um, keeping the airway, making the airway a single line and keeping it open and as she coughs it's that soft, quite dry cough, often quite musical almost coughing noise but if you watch the cat as they cough ultimately there is usually an exaggerated swallow movement because they are actually bringing up some some mucus some phlegm from the the, the airways from the trachea which they don't spit out so it's not a productive cough in the traditional sense but as you watch the cat you will see that there is um, something coming up into the mouth so I'm just going to run it on a little bit <laughs> And there's a swallow. 
<laughs> and another one. So, uh, quite a dry sounding cough, but with some productive mucus. <laughs>